Who the F stays up until all hours of the morning drinking and watching a bum make food at 2 a.m. when they have to work at 9 a.m.? Not me. Thanks, Dudu, for stealing it. XO, best thing ever. Coughing, smoking, cooking, smoking, coughing, fourth pyramid, apples, nether, wine, smoking, apples, purple bed, comb over. Chantal, I'm being sincere. Please get a therapist. You'll feel better. Do you really think this is normal? Non-stop talking and watching him. My therapist helped me heal after the most toxic relationship I've ever had. She helped me get some closure. You're going to drive yourself insane if you keep doing this. It's not healthy mentally or physically. I guess the irony meter broke. Ironic coming from someone that does just that. Go to bed, you idiot, and stop obsessing over someone that never wanted you. P. Take the phone off your best friend. The way Nader slaps Didi's hand in the fries dip seems like he does this regularly. I see the identity crisis in full swing with the name change. Nobody predicted that, LMAO. For fuck's sake, leave them alone. They're happy, you're not. Move on and find some happiness instead of drowning yourself in food and self-pity. Meanwhile, you're still obsessing. Find a new hobby. I did feel compassion for you, but after what you said about Monty and his mother, not anymore. You can fuck all the way off. Who the F claims to be completely traumatized by an ex but continually stalks them, spams them in messages, begs them to meet at a hotel room, or eats out the ex's current girl just to be in his presence. The list goes on. She's trolling in their chat as Black Lung. Anything to have a connection to them. How do you know? It's someone obsessed with six. We read Chantal's list above. Well, that account just got blocked. You literally went offline to watch him and now you're raging off camera? Come on, we need a drunk psycho rage bees. Oh, shut up, please. You stay up constantly checking to see if he responds to your desperate messages. And you stay up at all times of the night watching his lives as well. You are so jealous and so insecure. Love that for you, fatty. Wow, crazy. You're crazy, girl. He's also fucking her. Don't forget. Get a life or get locked up. Zero self-awareness. It's astonishing. There's no telling this girl how crazy she looks. Give him zero attention. No speaking to him or of him or mentioning him no matter what he says or does. Move the fuck on. If you don't want him anymore, then why do you care so much? He clearly don't want you, so this is just making you look crazy stupid even more. Than usual, and I don't even know how you managed to do that, but you do you. It is eating you alive that neither doesn't want you. It is eating you alive that nothing you could do is changing his mind. It is eating you alive that Didi is sitting in the place that you are dying to be. I can't wait to see you sitting in jail because you just can't keep up your rap trap close. You're desperate and you're losing it. I love this for you. It also eats her alive that Didi looks a lot better than her and is slimmer. Garbage content by an evil and dumped woman, Chantal. Why do you keep projecting, Chantal? You are literally describing yourself. What the fuck, lol? Yes, and when she talks about narc supply, that's exactly what she gets from her crazy VIBs, lol. Obviously you, since you're still up stalking him. Your being so fixated and unobsessed shows us you're insanely jealous. It's not really your concern now, is it? You, foodie. You! You did, Chantal, when you're cocked out with him. You showed you would be again when it was five days ago? Shut the fuck up, damn. You do you, dear. Who stays up until 2 a.m. watching what their ex is doing with their new girlfriend? Keep it up, girl. Exactly, lol. She's too much. She's hilarious. No self-awareness whatsoever. Isn't Didi his fiancée? Now? 
What with the engagement rings she wears and all? Obsessed. Three words. Hooked on phonics. Obsessed. Obsessed. Either way, you're probably right. LMAO. Yikes, Chantal. The jealousy is oozing out of your pores because you were ecstatic to put up with all of that and more for nuts. So the answer to your question is, you do. They're having fun, lol. He just would abuse you. Let her live, lol. Nader is getting surgery to look like Megan Fox. No longer Machine Gun Kelly. He changes his mind. Shit! Indeed, he's getting a sex change to a female, but also getting surgery to look like Danny DeVito, which is confusing because he's a man and Didi's a man. Weird. I gotta take a shit. You need to be taken away somewhere. Whatever the Canadian version of 5150 is, somehow you keep managing to get worse. It's 1.23 a.m. here in T-Bay, Ontario. Watch these crazy videos. You're such a loser. It's unbelievable. LMAO, you're so jealous of Dee Dee. You would do anything to trade places with her right now. You wish it was you he was cooking for. Yeah, stick to the plan was for me to go to the police station and lie to get your grimy ass off the hook with your new narc supply as the puppeteer. Why are you even showing receipts from February? And you secretly recorded me? You had to ask me over and over to say no. Of course I wanted to retract everything. Point is, I did all of this for you out of love and you had ulterior motives, always. You are a horrible person and your karma will hopefully be prison for that is where criminals belong. Debbie, do you know if I can go to the police station at any time and lift the restraining order? Do you happen to know how it works exactly? Chantal, I would just stick with the plan of you going to the police station in person. That's the only way. You didn't do it for him. You did it to be with him. There's a difference. Ex fucking exactly. 100, 100, 100, 100. Lol, I love this word you created. I will be stealing it. Go ahead, sis. It is perfectly legal to record calls in Canada as long as at least one party is aware, which he was. And as far as criminals going to jail, you are a criminal too. Lying to cops, stalking, harassment, DUI, amongst numerous other crimes you commit regularly. Yikes. Shaking my head, defining the dare. Defining Chantal. Scammers around that time, you would fake cry to your VIB saying it's over and keep drama for attention and money, then text Nader immediately after the live stream was over. Quit playing with us already. Someone needs to record this as social experiment so people can study how liars react. Her job consists of getting roasted by your viewers. Sheesh, what a fulfilling life. The truth of all this is people are going to believe who they believe. No receipts are going to change people's minds. As long as you both bring up each other's names, every live and throw stones, this will never end. She doesn't want it to end. Neither does he. Neither do his viewers. They only like him because they hate Chantal. The three of them don't want it to end and it's all a scam. There is no winning here, Chantal. Not by your dysfunctional definition of a win. Each community post, each stream where you have to talk about them just adds more to your personal lose column. A smart person would accept that they've made serious mistakes. Stop making those same mistakes, then move. At this point, I'd rather read or see a complete psychological analysis of Sam's cat than this stuck on stupid nonsense just read this when someone says after all i've done for you they are revealing that what they did for you was not for you at all but for their own need to control you their generosity was just a contract with hidden terms of compliance breach that contract and you become the problem this needs more thumbs up i wish someone would show your comment while playing the all the audio clips of her saying that very thing Something we are all guilty of doing. This is why motives for going to the police do matter. People knew you wouldn't stick with it because you were just mad and would flip-flop again 
as soon as he said what you wanted to hear. You are a crappy person, but I will say you didn't deserve some things he may have done to you, and you couldn't even get a little bit of justice for yourself. You're still not doing yourself justice by not leaving him alone or not responding to him. There's not always going to be answers and closures to things. You just have to know when to give it up and find peace. Never a true word said. It's a hard life lesson. Chantal, have you ever seen the movie The War of the Roses? In case you haven't, it was a movie about a married couple who refused to stop fighting and they both died in the end. Most people view this circus as an entertainment and most people genuinely don't like you from the persona that you show on YouTube which includes being a liar, racist, ageist, and entitled to name a few. But I still see your humanity. Not that you would listen to a stranger on the internet because it appears that you don't even listen to the people in your real life who loves you but you need to end this madness for your own sake. Change the story arc we would watch you go to therapy, work out, build healthy relationships, etc. I have to admit, I'm not only writing this for your sake, but also when something irrevocably bad happens to you, and it will if you don't change the trajectory of your life. I can say I spoke out and didn't sit by idly while watching someone kill themselves. You'd be back with him in a second if he clicked his fingers and he will be back to you as soon as he runs off of cash, so don't worry. No, Chantal, stop manipulating. It was not stick to the plan and lie. It was stick to the plan and go in person. We can all clearly see Dee Dee dodging your trap question. Come on, girl, shaking my head. I haven't checked on this never-ending saga in months, just to find that it still is never-ending. When is this going to end? You're insane. So, you just admitted to lying to the police, which can get you five years in prison in Canada. She didn't lie to the police about what happened. She retracted wanting to press charges. Women in abusive relationships physically or mentally often do this numerous times. Just because you do not like Chantal does not mean she can't be a victim. Hate her, not what happened to her she did not deserve even if she continued to go back some women go back to the person that abused them for years and years no one deserves to be mentally physically abused manipulated into believing they were not assaulted and financially used um yes she did in fact lie and no she's not a victim she never was keep showing us how damaging you are to women chantal it's a wonderful look on you Sounds more like stick to your plan of going to the police and seeing how things work out. Turns out very badly for you. This is bizarre and disturbing behavior from anyone, especially a full-grown woman. I've never seen anyone talk one-fourth this much about an ex before and for long after a breakup. You are obsessed and addicted to the drama of this relationship and it feels like we're watching your brain rot in real time because of it. There is no ex, Nader never claimed her. They were together for a whole week in October of 2021. Don't you know it takes 50 times as long as relationship starts to get over it? LMAO. Next it will be, he's still a human being guys, don't talk about him like that. And the cycle continues. Also, why are you admitting to lying to the police? That's a crime haven't kept up in a while and I can't tell I haven't missed a single thing. To keep things leveled, you two bring up things from the past, from before February. So you accused him of assault out of love. No Chantel, you did it out of anger and spitefulness. You admitted that already. It's why you wanted to retract your story cause you know deep down it's all a lie and your words you may have over-exaggerated what really happened. Point is, you lied. Keep lying and are still throwing a tantrum because you still haven't gotten your way. Grow the fuck up and move on. Mark my words, I'll never ever talk about him again. I hope she's arrested soon. This is never going to end. 
She won't because Nada won't ever report her. He enjoys the attention, views, and sympathy to ever put a stop to it. So at this point, he deserves what he gets. They work together. One of them will be. I don't know. I feel he's more dangerous. She needs to be committed, though. Sweet poetic justice, Chantal. You deserved every bit of this. But the worst is yet to come. I want your VIBs keep supporting you financially so we can see how it all end. I can't imagine Chantal doing just about anything to sabotage Nader purely out of jealousy. Nader is a massive tool, but Chantal is a complete psycho. Chantal, at this point, why don't you just walk into a police station and do a line of blow off the front desk? I mean, why confess to crimes online when you can boss bish it? Didi is getting bold AF. She did tamper with the witness. That was always clear to everyone who told you they were playing you, and you called them vile names and blocked them. You retracted your story to be with him, and he still didn't claim you. He took your money and gifts, though. Now you wanna be big mad, girl? Go eat a nashi and take a nap. You said that this triggers my anxiety whenever you think or talk about him. How about not talking about him and go see a therapist? Dee Dee's handed the popcorn! You filed charges because you were jealous he was with Dee Dee, but go off. You know you're jealous of Dee Dee. You said it yourself on multiple occasions. Just give it up already. You lost. It's kind of funny that she now has to divide her jealousy between Dee Dee and the new younger crush of Nader's, Jessica Demesica. Hey, your main account is back. You both need to be locked up somewhere away from society. Why haven't you realized yet that all of this is your karma?